So let's see how we can update an item in DynamoDB. So I'm going to type in update item. Of course, uh, I think you could just edit from here, right? But that's not what we're going to do. We're going to use the CLI, of course. And we'll make our way over to the, um, we'll fix this file first here, refresh. It's back into there. We'll go back to the CLI here, go all the way to the top, DynamoDB, and we'll look for put item. And so put item here, we'll scroll down. We have put item, table name, you provide the item, and then we have a bunch of other values. I'm certain that this one is not a simple one. If we go to the example here, um, no, it's not that bad. It's just, oh, sorry. <laughs> we're not we're not uh, creating an item. We're going to update an item. I'm sorry. We've already done put item. We want to update an item. And so we have update item, table name, key, and then we have a bunch of other stuff. Let's go look at the example. And here you can see it's a lot more complicated. Um, I don't know why it's such a pain, but this is what it is. So I'm going to uh, grab that on here and we will uh, paste our example here. And this is big. Rename this to Starships. Um, we'll leave this as key. Yeah, we'll update the existing file we have and we'll talk about these values here. So the first one is update expression. So we'll take a look at here, update expression. An expression that defines one or more attributes to be updated. The action can be performed on them and the values for them. So that is what we're actually going to update. And if we look down below, um, it should give us examples on how we can write these expressions. Mm, not a lot of information here. Um, but I know what we need to do here. So we'll go here and we can see that we have this set value here. Uh, the next one is the expression expression attributes names. One or more substitution tokens for attribute names in an expression. The following are some use cases. And so it could be when there's reserve words or placeholder or special characters. So this is just like a remapping of, of characters. This doesn't make sense. Don't worry. It will once we uh, work through this example. One or more values that can be substituted in an expression. Okay. So, you know. I don't feel like it's the best explanation, but we'll, it makes sense when we go through it. So what we'll do is we're going to need a uh, expressions attributes names file, extract, uh, expressions attributes value uh, file, and we already have this file here. So I'm just going to copy these names here, make our way back to Cloud9, and I'm going to make this new file in our playground. So that's one, and then we'll go back here and we will grab the other one. And that's two. And so for names, uh, what it suggests is this. And then for this one here, we have um, the values. So the way this works is it allows you to remap values. So if we just go back to this example here, notice that uh, in the names, or sorry, the values is the values that we uh, want to update. So here we're saying this number should now be 2015. This string should now be louder than ever. And then we have this colon Y and colon T. And this colon Y and colon T is just like a representation of that actual character. Then in the update expression, what it's doing, it's reassigning it saying, so make colon Y into pound Y. And then if we look at our uh, expression names, pound y equals year and uh, pound at equals uh, album attribute. If it seems like a lot of roundabout, it does feel that way, but it's allowed you to get flexibility so you don't run into issues like with reserved words or special characters. And we could pare this down, but let's actually uh, try to do this in full uh, with the example that they have here. So making our way back here, um, the first thing I'm gonna do is go back to our scratch pad. I'm gonna just change the set value. We only need, uh, let's only change the description and make our lives a little bit easier here. I'm gonna call this uh, colon D and we'll save that there. And the next thing we'll do is go back to our expressions and I'm gonna call this hash, uh, hash D. That's gonna be description. Whoops, can't see what I'm doing. Description. And then we will just take out the second one here. We'll make our way over to values. I'm going to change this to colon D. Uh, this is going to be a string. I'm going to get rid of the second value. And what we're going to do is just shorten the, um, the, the item. So we'll go back to item. And so this is the string here. 
and I'm just going to change it here. So it says ship commanded by Admiral James Layden on which Benjamin Sisko served. I'm just going to take off the end here. Or maybe I'll just serve as XO. That means the same thing as first officer. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll go back to our scratch pad and we will copy all the stuff. It also has this return value thing. So let's take a look at that before we move on. Use return values if you want to get the item attributes as they appear before or after they are updated. So none is if returns values if not specified all old. So return all the attributes of the item, return only the updated attributes, return all the new attributes of the items, etc. And this kind of stuff is kind of important when we get into DynamoDB streams because you get you can do the old or the new. Uh, in this case, I guess we're doing all. Um, and all seems fine to me. It's just an example. That's all we're uh, doing here. And what we'll do is we'll just copy this here. Fingers crossed this works first time. And we've got data back and it says as XO. So that looks great to me. And what we'll do is we'll just make sure that it has been changed. We'll use our get item up here. And it has been updated. So there you go, that is update item. So now that we've learned how to get, put, delete, let's look at the scan and query options next.